decision The one I'm picking is you Linda Hellman here for Canadian Beats. We are <laughs> backstage at Lucknow Music in the Fields. This is day three. It's very warm and humid. It's hot. Uh, it is hot. Yeah. So if I look shiny, it's because I'm sweating. Me too. It's we glistening right now. That's what it is. We glistening. And we look great. <laughs> this very handsome gentleman here with me is Jojo Mason. Hey. How y'all doing? Thanks for joining us, <laughs> course, Jojo. It's awesome. Course. It's awesome. Now, you opened day three here at yeah. Lucknow Music in the Fields. Yeah. Um, there was a little bit of precipitation coming down when you came on stage, yeah. but the diehards were there. They were, and it was incredible to see how many of them there were out this yes. way. I can't believe it. Yes. I yes. can't believe it. And they loved you. It was, it was and incredible. And they were singing along to the songs. See, now that was the biggest, that was the biggest surprise for me. I, I didn't, I was not <laughs> expecting that. It was the same in Boots and Hearts. Out this way, I'm, I have been shown so much love out east. It is, it is so crazy. Because, you know, I'm, I, fine, I, live right? in, I live in Vancouver, right? Yes. So when I come out here, like when I have a show in Vancouver, it's my friends and my family, so I'm telling you, if they don't cheer for me and, <laughs> and clap for me, then friends off. You feel me? But, but if come, you don't know the lyrics you know to your saying? songs, like, what do you mean you what don't? You mean? You're supposed to be my fan, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but having, but having uh, this amount of love out here, it's, it's incredible. Yep. Incredible. I feel, I feel lucky. I, I feel lucky. Blessed. It's blessed. Let's do it. I, I, I yeah. feel blessed to, to, well, to have you guys as, as, as my people out here. I first met you on Thursday yeah. at uh, KX96 right. in Oshawa, That's right. and I had an instant, oh my god, he's amazing, oh. so likable, just you beam <laughs> with personality, oh. and, and I tease you that you're my new musician boyfriend. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. It's oh, funny, it's, it's funny because that. last time you said Tebe was... No. No? No, 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 no. Are you sure? I'm sure. Are you sure? I'm sure. Are you sure? I'm sure. Right. I'm sure. I, I have, yeah. I, I, I love, I <laughs> you have got, so, You got a bunch of musician boyfriends. Musician boyfriends. <laughs> I, absolutely. Absolutely. I walked out there to shoot Jason Blaine and there's, um, is uh, Jason Blaine your, your musician boyfriend? Too? No, 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 no. Well, he's he's a friend. There are the ones that I feel are friends, okay. and then there's the ones that are all <laughs> cute, and I just call them my boyfriend, so that's totally harmless. Oh, that's um, but but uh, Chris is out there playing guitar. Yeah. And uh, Travis Switzer not oh. only played bass oh. for. Um, he was on twice today. He played, he, he played for, for Jason, and he played for you. Played that was me. right. Yes. That's right. Yes. Travis Switzer I is. I love Travis. He is an amazing man. He is so funny. He's charismatic. He is so well respected. And this is what yes. I'm finding out and hearing from other people. Yes, he is absolutely. so well respected yes. in, in the Canadian country music well, world. Well, he has. And just in the music world in general, I think. He has been a CCMA um, bass player of the year. So he should. And well he's just, deserved. He's, he's fantastic. I can't remember when I first met Travis. I. I think it was uh, with Derek Rattan's yeah. band because he plays with Derek yeah, every time he's right, around. That's right. And Derek, Derek is. I heard he's I, a I, great I, guy. I heard he's a great guy. Yes. I can't say enough nice things I about know. Derek. I, he's, I, he's I awesome. hear you on that one. I can't Have you wait. ever met him? I've never met him. I, I've only heard the most amazing things. I'm, I'm a fan. Like I can't, yes. I can't wait yes. to meet him. Hopefully, I get to meet him one day. I, I find a really strong kinship toward the yeah. songwriters yep. out there. And, and um, he is like an incredible the, songwriter. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and is. and you you songwrite. I'm getting there. You're getting there. I'm getting there. But Slowly have, but surely. You have helped in in, in of kind, your singles. Good kind of love. That yes. was that was that was uh, me, Dan, and a guy named Phil Barton out in uh, out in Nashville. And when you said that on oh. Thursday, I went, Yeah, no, That's we my love dude. Phil. That's my dude. We absolutely love Phil. <laughs> He's amazing. He's amazing. <laughs> We're planning. We're planning a trip back down to Nashville. Me and him still keep in contact um, mm -hmm. once in a while. So it's, it's it's nice to to keep that connection. So when I do go back down there again, um, I'm gonna make sure me me and Phil connect and spend some time. Mm -hmm. So it's great. Yeah, he's great. just he's, he's, he's one of those guys you want in your person. life, right? Yes, and right. he writes a lot with my my other musician yeah. or, or songwriting friend Victoria Banks. She's about to say musician boyfriend. Uh, no, no, musician friend. I was gonna say musician <laughs> friend. Victoria Banks and the two of them. They always yeah. write. Amazing, amazing yeah. stuff too. They do a lot of uh, um, songwriters things down at Bluebird and, they do. and various things. It as is, well. it's incredible. I got a chance last last year um, when I went down. I got a chance to, to go to the Bluebird, <gasps> and I got to sit front row. Oh. My man Jeff Cohen was up there playing playing his jams, and I was sitting there just like 
blown, like blown away. Surreal. I'm really here. It was. I was. I was shaking. I was taking as many pictures as I could. <laughs> my phone running out of memory. Oh. I'm deleting like all of the apps on my phone just to try to get more. It was incredible. It was incredible. Yeah. Anybody, if you get a chance to go down to Nashville, you need to go to the Bluebird. I'm telling you, please go. It's so. Please go. Historic. It's, it's historic. It's tiny. Yeah. But it is it's so like about the size of uh, this trailer right now. <laughs> seriously. It's incredible. They have a little bar over there. They have like seven tables mm -hmm. or eight, nine, ten tables, and that's it. Yep. And it's so intimate and it's so secluded. And you have to be quiet or you get kicked out. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. If you are not quiet and let the songwriters do tell their, their stories and do their thing, oh man. It was it was amazing. I saw this guy. I can't, can't tell the story. I saw this guy. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> You're gonna tell the I'm story anyway. I saw this guy. Um, <laughs> Have dude, I lost control of this interview? I think you might have. Oh my I think you might have. I'm sorry. <laughs> it okay. happens. It's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I saw this guy do do a writer's round, and one of the things he said in his writer's round really really resonated with me, and I took something from this. It, one of the things he said was, as competitive, as competitive as this business is we all want the best for each other mm -hmm. country music and that's that's what country music is mm -hmm. he said as much as we want to succeed we want each other to succeed as well exactly. there's no egos yeah. there's no there's no bs it's all everybody love everybody and i took that and i really really held on to it you know mm -hmm. what i mean and mm -hmm. it, it was one of those things that i try to bring over um Bring, bring back with me when I when I'm on stage. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. When in, in my day to day life, that's what I am. Everybody love everybody, and, and so that's one of the things I love about country music in general. But Nashville, that's the kind of vibe you get. Yes, everybody yes. loves everybody. And everybody and wants everybody to succeed. With and and this has been said many many times with with uh, the yeah, CCMA family. We are family. It's hundred percent. It doesn't matter whether you're a writer. An artist, a musician, everybody uh, loves everybody. a media person. It doesn't matter. You get to know uh, the management people. Yeah. We all know each other. Uh, we yeah. all respect each other. 100%. And and it's it's just it's a wonderful wonderful community. Yeah. I can't say enough about it. I've only been a part of it for a year, but I feel the exact same way. Yeah. I feel so blessed to be a part of it and and. Uh, to make as many waves as we've made. <laughs> to, to make it's as many waves. Oh, stop, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, should we talk about your singles? Yeah. You've, you've had three singles out yeah. that have all done really, really well. And yeah. the first time I heard you, um, I live in Sudbury, okay. so my my station up there is Kix 91.7 and uh, I think you were on at the time they had a, uh, oh, it was like a battle battle of the bands yeah, type yeah, thing yeah. Uh, now they have kick it or keep it yeah. but you were part of one of the battles and you won and you won and you won and it was like it was absolutely amazing yeah uh, and that was for I believe it was a, it's all good yeah and well, we, we had we had a ton of them yeah. for, for the It's All Good yeah. uh, campaign and, and just across the country. And like I said, the amount of love I've got out here, yeah. it's incredible. And it's absolutely incredible. When you start that song, it's like, oh, that song, and like everyone's just hands waving uh, and just like, it's a feel good song. That's what I'm all totally, about. Totally. Feel good it's music, awesome. baby. Absolutely yeah. awesome. And you've had two others, which mm. is Good Kind of Love. Yep. And I think what's becoming my favorite is Red Dress. I can appreciate that. I, I, I really love that it's, song too. It's, it's good. So, and, and you don't even have a CD released yet. No. So, if you're showing us in these three songs, I can't wait to see what you're we, we, like. we got some things in the works. I'm telling you, we got some things in the works. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. <laughs> I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I know when, when I, every time I release a single, I have like, the first week of release is always just like, oh my god, are they Nervous. gonna, are they gonna, are they gonna, like, gonna like it? it? Are, are they, they gonna, gonna like, like it? Do, do, do they hate me now? Do they not like me anymore? Like, I stress and I stress and I stress, but so far, it's the oh, uh, yeah, it's but so pressure. far, the amount of love we've, like yeah. I said, the amount of yeah. love we've, we've been receiving from, from, from my, my, my country, you know, yeah. my red and white, that's. It's incredible. It is. It's incredible. It is. And I just, I'm, well, I'm so blessed, like we keep saying, right? Do we have 
any date that we know when the CD is going to be released? No, no official date. Not yet. No official date Not yet. 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 Hopefully soon-ish. Okay. Next single is hopefully going to be sometime in October. Okay. So we're going to release one more single and then out. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. so no awesome. worries. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> just, just a bit about your history. You were yeah. actually born in Saskatchewan. I was. Regina. Yes. Yep. Yes. Which is, and then all of a sudden you moved off to BC. Moved to Victoria, it was my daddy's fault. Oh, okay, blame my him. My daddy's fault. He, he got a, I know, right? Blame him for everything. <laughs> he got a job out there and, uh, and uh, yeah, we ended up, we ended up moving. We took the whole family over and, uh, and uh, yeah, we, we ended up in Victoria, oh. BC. So when did you know you wanted to pursue music? At a Christmas party over a bottle of moonshine. Really? Yeah, two, okay. two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago. So before yeah. that, you had no thought of pursuing a musical career. I didn't career. have. I didn't have the confidence in, in me to be able to. I had no no idea or no inkling in my mind that music could have been a possibility for yeah. me. I had no idea. Um, but it was one of those things. Maybe it was just. It started off as coincidence, being in the right place, right time. Yes. Yes. Um, and, but too many things have happened in the last year and a half, two years, to, to, to let me believe that it was, the right that it was just coincidence. Yeah. It, 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 I'm supposed to be. I truly, I truly believe that I was at the lowest point in my life. And this was, this was my light at the end of the tunnel. And when I got this opportunity, Dan Swinomer um, mm -hmm. presented me with this opportunity. Um, and I, I took it and I ran with it. I was at the lowest point of myself. I was, I was battling depression. I was, I was, I was struggling with, with, with my weight. I was, I was unhappy with the person that I was because, um, at the, at one point in my life, I had been the best version I thought of myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to let myself, I had nobody else to blame but myself. So when I, I see myself digress so much. Is that a word? Digress? I think it is. It sounds yes, good. Yes. Yes. Um, when I see myself digress so much. Um, it, it, and, and knowing that it's it's all my fault, it, it, it would kill me. Every day I'd wake up, I would be depressed, I would be sad. I would, I, I would walk from my bedroom to the bathroom, check myself out in the mirror, and I would I would start crying. Like it was it was awful. I went through my stuff. Right? I went through my mm -hmm. I went through my struggle, and um, but I made it out. Yeah. I made yeah. it out. And I, I know a lot of people struggle with 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 depression and 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 have a hard time talking about stuff and. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so that for me, um, I'm a, I'm a perfect example. I think of one door closing, another one opening. Mm -hmm. Holding the faith and believing in in what you're doing. So, did I know I was going to be a musician? No. Did I grab an opportunity that came my way and yes. run with it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. I didn't know what it was going to lead to. I didn't know what it was going to be at the end. I just knew that this was my way out and my way to be to be the best version of myself. Do you know what, do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's, it's, that's, it's, that's when I knew I wanted to be a musician. When I, an it was more of an opportunity to be a better me mm -hmm. than... And mm, sometimes you know. we have to go through those struggles to, to realize like, that, maybe. oh, there are better things ahead. Yeah. And I mean, you're not the first person to talk about depression. Yeah. I, I know a few other yeah. artists or people in the business yeah that have suffered from it, yeah. that are very open about yeah. it. You have to be. Um, and, and it's, it's like I myself have been someone who's suffered from yeah. it. And, and it's, when you have it, it's like being an alcoholic exactly. or any other thing. There's nothing you It's can a do. daily it's thing. You take it one day at a time, one 100%. hour at a time, sometimes one minute at a time. And you just you. have to, to deal with it. But, uh, but you're, ne you're never alone, is, no. was my biggest thing for the whole, for, for a couple of years even, I I thought I was so alone and I, I, did, I, I thought I was weak by, by going to talk to somebody, going to ask for help or going to, you know. Yeah. There, try, there's try still the stigma. Help. There's that A lot stigma. of people, there is still the stigma. I want to kill that stigma because the only thing that saved me was being able to open up about it. Mm -hmm. Was being at the point where I, I had no other choice. And I hate that I had to wait till then to be open about it and to be, to be, um, to ask for that help, to ask for that hand, mm -hmm. um, but it was my mom, my mom and my dad and my best friend Liz. Awesome. Um, they were the ones that really, really saved me. My best friend Liz, she told me, um, she told me one thing in grade nine. 
-hmm. Every time I get my heart broken, she was, she's always been my best friend, right? Yeah. One thing she yeah. told me was, um, if it's not okay now, it's easy, it's simple, but it's the truth. Mm -hmm. If it's not okay now, it will be. You'll get there. It's just a matter of time. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Crazy, Great. Right? You've had a really, it sounds like you have had a really good support system behind you. I have. And it's all about who you choose to be with. Exactly. Right? You, exactly. you are who you hang out with, and I choose to be around, you know, exceptional people. I love your open, the openness and your honesty. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's amazing. It's, I'm, it's great. I'm, a, it's I'm, an open, I'm an open book, right? Yeah. If anybody's got any questions, <laughs> y'all got any questions, holler at me. And I had to laugh at the, uh, uh, the little meet and greet you did at, at KX, because <laughs> there was that one little girl uh, that, like, who is absolutely adorable, oh, she's and she's so there like sweet. every time you start, it's like. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It was so funny because she would she would ask she, at first she, she was asking questions and then eventually she was like for like the forty fifth time and I'm like yes Lily what can I do and she says she says to me I love it if you come to my birthday I was like oh and then you sang happy birthday and I saw, to me so I yes, sang your happy yes. birthday you sang your happy birthday you know. then you sang happy birthday to somebody, somebody else. else and then eventually and, I was like all right let's just sing like, one big group happy birthday well, well well come November eighth I hope you sing me a happy I got birthday. You. You know, I like even you. if if you just like sort of you. like. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll will I'll put it in the calendar. We'll make oh, it work. All right. There you go. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> well, I was gonna do a little bit of an on the spot with you, but maybe yeah. we will save that. Are you sure? For uh, CCMAs, because this is probably I was trying to keep it to about 15 minutes, sure. and we're probably close to that at this point. Oh, really? uh, I'm sure we've Tom, been chatting. Tom, Tom is just, I thought we was at like it's, four and a half minutes. I, no, 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 it's great. But I, I love this. Um, we're wrapping up okay. summer festival yeah. season. Unfortunately, this is the last festival for a lot of people this I know, summer. I know, I know. Sad, sad but day. we will meet at the CCMAs yes, we and we will have parties. We're going to hang. We'll, it's going to be awesome. We're going to hang. Is there anything you would like to say to fans, friends, anyone who's going to be watching this? All I want to say is thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for believing in me. And uh, we've got a lot more to come. So I hope, you, I hope you continue to show me all that love and support. And I appreciate you. And honestly, I can't say enough nice things about you. You are, he is really genuine. He is such a nice gentleman. Thank you. And, uh, and <laughs> honestly, I thank you so much for doing this, Jojo. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, come here. Thank you so much. Oh, you're a sweetheart. I appreciate that. But we could talk for another yeah, I know, hour off right? camera, I'm sure. <laughs> but we'll wrap up. Thank you so much for watching. Linda Heldman for Canadian, Canadian Beats. Beats. Whoa, whoa. Jojo Mason, and we are backstage at Lugnow Music in the Fields. Thanks right so on, y'all. Take care.